Welcome to Website Creative Pro. My name is David and in this video, I'm gonna share with you a six month old website that's already making $1,200 a month in passive income. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, my name is David. Welcome back to the channel. If you've not already done so, hit that subscribe button. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a six month old website that's now generating $1,000 a month from advertising and affiliate commissions. We're gonna take a look at what they're doing right so we can learn from these lessons and incorporate it into our own projects. So if you're ready, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So the website we're going to be taking a look at is called owntheyard.com. This is the public case study website built by Spencer Hawes uh, of nichepursuits.com. Basically he made a, a website and it's like, well, when this website crosses over the thousand dollar a month mark, I'll reveal the title of the website and here it is. So this website's generating revenue from primarily uh, Amazon associates as well as display advertising. So my goal with this video is just to break down the website for you, just in case, like if you wanna start a blog, a niche website, a web, whatever, how is this done? What tools do you need? How do you, what things can you do? And also I'm gonna throw in also my criticism of things that I would personally would do a little bit differently. Uh, so anyways, let's get to it. Step one is like, what theme are we using? All right, so to figure that out is very quick and easy. We go to inspect, uh, sorry, not inspect. We go to <laughs> viewed page source. All right, we're gonna go control find and then we'll look for something called theme and we are using generate press on this website. Generate press is another free premium, freemium free theme where they have like it's free, but they have upsells. This what this type of theme is designed to work well with like Elementor. It's the same type of deal as like Astra and Ocean WP. Personally, I'm not a big fan of all that layout. I personally like using uh, Themify Ultra, which is what I'm currently using on Website Creator Pro, and I use it for all my websites. Uh, get the same effect, and I think just I think it looks a lot better personally. Uh, so, anyways, guys, you can check the link in the description, uh, coupon code uh, Ultra Pro, uh, to get a discount on your purchase price. Highly recommend Ultra Theme. Anyways, this is using Generate Press and probably Elementor or something like that. Now, let's just take a quick look at the top right here. So this is probably the page title. We have Yard Design, Outdoor Games, and Gear. Uh, create the best backyard experience possible. All right, I like that. Let me just make sure that this is actually an H1 tag. And yes, it is an H1 tag. Now, the first, my first little criticism is that I personally would match the uh, page title that's on the page to the page title description. So it's like own the yard your guide to backyard fun and games I would just have that like your guide to backyard fun and games like I would just match it Okay, like whatever you want to do match it now in terms of like the key word that you're going after That's that depends on the search intent for how you design the home page that if that makes sense So for example, we can just take a quick look like these are links to all various blog published piece of content in the blog. So like, what is the search intent? Like if someone's like, this is a great page title for this type of website, your guide to backyard fun and games. I'd probably just do that. I mean, it's okay to incorporate that because that tells search engines what the website is about. So I can understand that decision. Uh, but again, it just comes down to like what the page title is about. Uh, just what I mean is like, for example, this is page title H1 tag is create a website. So if someone's typing in create a website and I want this page to rank for create a website, what do you think the page needs to be about? A bunch of blog posts and things like that? No, it needs to be like a full length tutorial, which is why I have like a full length tutorial on the homepage of website Creative Pro. So the goal is like to rank, get people on the page, get people on the website, uh, introduce myself, and then you know, like I'm gonna incorporate uh, email opt-in forms uh, probably in a, a week or two at the top, all the way at the bottom here and like in the middle as well. And then that's the goal of the homepage to get people to rank for a highly competitive term and to collect emails. So that's what you gotta think about in terms of like how the homepage, how, like your way to design the homepage. In general, I really like this type of layout for most, most niche websites where you go after just like a broad term and then like that's not really maybe a, a specifically a keyword focus term but just go after some broad term, then your individual pieces of content go after those terms. Now, how do you lay, how do you like organize that? Okay, so just in terms of the, the site title, it should always be the domain name and then followed by the page title for the homepage. And then for each individual blog post, it should be the blog 
post title and then the domain name followed by the domain name if there's enough space sometimes you'll have like a long blog post title and just the domain name won't fit and then just don't include it it's fine all right so let's just take a quick look now i'm going to turn my ad blocker on to see how this is working so let me just uh pause on this site all right my ad blocker is off i'm going to reload the site quickly all right and we are definitely using the zoic okay so let's just take a quick look okay so <laughs> all right this is definitely a mistake uh so i think spencer wants the ad to come up underneath here right underneath the page title uh what how are these ads happening how does this work for websites so you have a bunch of different options uh, the best ones are Ezoic. I recommend for newer websites where you have like 200, 300 visitors a day and you're getting like at least like 7,000 page views a month, if not more. They publicly state that like they want you to have 10,000 page views. And the primary reason is that like, look, if you're getting like 4,000 page views a month, you're not going to make any money from display ads. So it's, don't, it's like a waste of time. 10,000, I get to 10,000. All right. Then you can start making like a few dollars a day, if not more. But anyways, uh, what most people do with display ads, like they start off with Ezoic. Uh, as your website grows, then you wanna move on to either something like uh, Ad Thrive or Monumetric, okay? So these are my two favorite uh, ad networks, Ad Thrive and Monumetric. Uh, this used to be called, I forget what this used to be called actually, Ads by Blog or something, something like that. But both of these are premium ad networks. Uh, like Monumentric, you definitely need to be at minimum of 10,000 page views, and then you have to apply, and then you have to pay a hundred dollar setup fee. Uh, if you're at, if you have a very large website that's over 100,000 page views or more, then you can get set up for free. Uh, and same with Ad Thrive, you need to be at 100,000 page views, which is quite a bit of traffic, and you can achieve that within like a year, 16 months, you could do that. So the advantage of those networks are that they have premium ads, and just get paid a higher rate. All right, so like 100,000 page views on Ad Thrive, like depends on your niche, it always depends on your niche, but you could be making, you'll be making thousands of dollars. All right, so anyways, the way this web this homepage is laid out is we have uh, our featured content, we have buying guides, and then we have latest blog posts. So we have three sections. These sections are manual right here, our featured content and recent buying guides, those are like manually placed in. And then we have blog posts, so it's like whenever a new blog post is published, it automatically automatically populates this area uh, these images are specifically called feature images that are associated with the blog post uh, another little criticism though too is this image in the background is really pixelated so I definitely like would up the quality of the image like you can find uh, on splash okay so you can find your own like images photography images on something like unsplash.com and we could just type in like yard <laughs> type in yard and it's like <laughs> like that like this looks amazing like I would consider like just switching out the image in the background so it's not so blown out and it looks pixelated uh, just to give it a sharper like more professional appearance all right so anyways let's just take a quick look at how this is making money so we're making money from display advertising and that's really just a function of having traffic to your website and you get paid based on impression and click clicks Okay, so ads seem to be turned off on this specific page, which is cool. And that's something you can totally do within Ezoic. So like, like this page is being monetized with Amazon Associates. So you don't want to cannibalize your sales of your clicks to Amazon with clicks to ads because you're going to make more from Amazon Associates. So with Ezoic, you can actually individually turn it off on specific pages as you see fit. All right, so now we have best bocce ball set for backyard fun and classic tournament plays. All right, so all right, so this is really heavily monetized with Amazon Associates, where we go basically have an introduction to a product. We have a box from Amazon. Okay, so let's just quickly see how this is being, uh, what this plugin is. Okay, so if I take a quick look. Uh, all right, so this is being used by Table Labs. So we'll just take a quick look at Table Labs, WordPress. All right, Table Labs, Amazon Affiliate Comparison, Table Builder. 
All right, so basically what this is a plugin, that you, premium plugin that you can get where you can automatically and quickly create product tables for Amazon to have comparisons. Do you need plugins like this? No, you really don't personally. I mean, you can test it out as you see fit, but I personally like, the way I like to set up pages like this is I like to have a quick little introduction, like 300, 500 word guide, where it's a buying guide. So that's my first little criticism right here. Uh, first off, this hero image is a bit large. I would definitely even consider just getting rid of this hero image altogether because it doesn't really seem that, like, you want a hero image because you want it to pop up over here. Like this looks great and this makes me want to click it because I can see like bocce balls in the yard on the page eh, kind of pushes all the content down really that helpful not so much then yeah that's like give me a little bit more what's bocce balls what should i look for in a product like give me a quick little summary a buying guide and then introduce me to like your top seven or whatever that's just personally how i do it because you know i get like 10 11 percent laying out my pages like that without having to do this in a hurry here's your top picks just click over here to amazon right now so that's just personally how I would switch it up a little bit. And then number two, I would definitely would consider numerate, numbering these. Like, uh, let me just quickly take a look at this. Let me make sure this is, should be an H3 tag probably. Uh, okay, so these are each individually like, yes, yeah, these are H2 tags. So yeah, so I, that's the first thing I would definitely fix. So it's like, this is your H1 because it's the page title. Your H2 should be like our favorite seven, the seven best bocce ball sets. That should be the H2 tag. Like this is the keyword that we're going after, bocce ball set, best bocce ball set. That should be the H2 tag right here, best bocce ball set. You know, like best bocce ball sets here, instead of getting, instead of having this here, I would get rid of this, have it see H2 tag, best bocce ball sets. Our best bocce ball sets are this, 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 the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this should be an H3 tag and it should be numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Why do you want to do that? Because then Google will take that information and incorporate it into the snippet. Uh, I can just, I can tell you right now, if I just go into best bocce ball set, like for sure, there's going to be a snippet right at the top. All right, let's just quickly search for that. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So like what this is, is being controlled. This, you have apps, you have no control over this, whether or not Google selects your website to do this, but you want this snippet. So what this image is, is the featured image that's associated with the post. And then what these are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These are like the subheadings within this blog post. So if I was just to open this up, liftyourgame.net, we'll just take a quick look. So like the seven best botch ball sets. And then we go here, best botch ball sets. Look at that H2. And then look at that. We have subheadings. Okay. So like this one is, all right. So this one's an H2 tag and then individual ones associated with this best botch ball sets. This should be an H3 tag. And yeah, it's H3. It's like, that's how you want to set it up. Like that's why Google is taking this information, and incorporating it to the snippet. And there's no reason why uh, this page, you can't do the same. You just have to enumerate it. Like it has to be number one, two, three, four, five. Not all of these are H2 with no numbers. Uh, I personally don't like hyperlinking the whole thing like this. And I also don't like having just literally like the whole prophetic club pro bocce ball set 107, like what well, made in Italy. Uh, what I what I personally do and I find works a lot better is like Perfecta Club Pro Bocce Ball Set Separator Best Budget Bocce Ball Set or you know Best Professional Bocce Ball Set or Best Bocce Ball Set for Large Picnics or Large Families or Large Yards or Small Yards or Children or for whatever like that's the how I would break this up. That's why you want to have like a little bit of a buying guide there and then incorporate that into each of these posts. All right, so now at the bottom here, we have a little bit more of a buying guide to like kind of make this post a little bit more meaty, which I think is excellent. And these are Amazon ads. If you're an Amazon associate, you can incorporate these Amazon ads into your website and it's just Amazon will automatically populate uh, your related blog posts with whatever they think is the most related products as uh, they, they think, and you'll still get that commission. Uh, so anyways, that's uh, how th that's okay. So that's basically an Amazon associates page. Let me just quickly see another page of how we're monetizing with ads. This hopefully this is trellis ideas. So I'm thinking this will be just monetized with ads. 
Yes, it is. Okay, so now we're being very aggressive with advertising and the goal of like a page like this, really long. Okay, we have 25 beautiful trellis ideas for your home. Lots of pictures, light on content, but the picture, really picture heavy. This type of piece of content is geared towards being shareable on Pinterest and just Facebook, whatever, uh, just to help fill out this website in terms of content and just monetize with Ezoic ads at the moment uh, very aggressively, which is totally fine because like, look, you have a blog post that's majority about it is pictures with a little bit of text and just ideas. And yeah, okay, so that looks great. So that's a, basically how this website's generating revenue. You have Amazon associate pages, and then you have uh, Ezoic ads running on the rest of the website. Uh, and Ezoic's being turned off on specific individual pages. Uh, one other two little things I would also consider changing is URL structure. Not a big fan of it. I like the I like that the URLs are super short, but I'd also incorporate everything under the blog. That gives the website such a nice, more logical structure for search engines and people. And like this is okay, just to have like the page title if your website's going to be uh, small, like if you're just gonna have like 50 blog posts max and that's it, like, yeah, okay, but like that's fine. But if you're starting a new website, definitely add the blog into the URL, it gives a nice site architecture, and then also incorporate breadcrumbs at the top. It really helps <laughs> your site get indexed and organized for relevant content. And then you can use categories that are specifically uh, related to your niche. So I'll just take a quick look at Website Creative Pro again, just to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we just, so we open up the blog and we'll just go here, how to, all right, so well, how to make a landing page. Okay. We'll take a quick look at that and it's like home blog category and then blog post title. And then what happens is Google will take this and once they index this page, what they'll see is like, you'll see blog blogging for beginners and you can use your categories as appropriate to help indicate to Google what your brand is about, what your brand is not about as well. So that's just one other little criticism that I would change include breadcrumbs, add blog into the URL description. Uh, so that is basically it for this video. We covered how this website's making money, how it was built, uh, and basically how to like create content and structure that content. Uh, you know, basically like you just want to be doing like keyword research. And again, if you notice this, like, look, best and color reviews, balcony gardening ideas, 21 amazing rock garden ideas, plants that repel ticks, uh, rabbit, best rabbit repellent, uh, how to make more birds. If you notice something, I know I bring this up in every video, but it's like, look, it's not best, blah, 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 best, blah, 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 blah. It's not like the best laptops for 2019, best mouses for 2019, best headphones for 2019. And it's just like every single post is like a, a generic like review post. You want to incorporate pieces of content that are targeting Amazon associates, pieces of content that are targeting like broad search terms and questions. And you just want to have a nice mix and create a really insanely helpful website. Uh, because like you don't just have to rely on like Amazon Associates like there's so many other ways to monetize a website like you can get search traffic like if you get this website to 100,000 page views and then you sign up to Ad Thrive and, and you're getting like 150,000 page views you could be making thousands and thousands of dollars a month from just from Ad Thrive alone and so that's basically what you want to take it into I take it into consideration uh, just do keyword research and find what products and phrases people are looking for and make sure to build a brand. So it's like, this is about own the yard. Okay. So it's like yard games. We have the category there, backyard design. We have another category in backyard gear. Those are three fantastic categories. We don't, we don't need 10 categories. Like those three categories are fine. Like that, what's our, the website about? It's about yard games, backyard design, backyard gear, and everything incorporate all the published content we have, we incorporate it into each of these specific categories. And sometimes that includes just like, hey, you know what? I'm just gonna create 106 backyard games for kids, toddlers, teens, adults, and seniors. Like, yep, this is really helpful. I'm definitely gonna like, I would share this on Pinterest. I would share this on Facebook. I would share this with my friends. Is it gonna be like monetizable? Like, man, yeah, maybe. Maybe, but like sometimes the, the goal of piece of content is just to get attention and traffic and social signals. And it's not, oh, not everything has to be geared towards making money. Now you can, like this is incorporating Amazon Associates a little bit and it has ads a little bit, you know, as appropriate. Uh, and it's going after like a really competitive uh, keyword called backyard games. So, you know, just use your common sense and 
that's basically it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, uh, make sure to hit that like button. Consider subscribing. I publish videos on a weekly basis, case studies, WordPress tutorials, and just general like advice on creating websites and blogging. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. Uh, see you next video. Bye-bye.